So with a parachute, the joy of whether I pop or not, and whether I get my character to jump off the rocks. Um, thing to be aware of, uh, the drop is the important. How close the item that you're coming off of is to the ground dictates whether your man jumps or just drops off. So finding the rocks that you climb onto, using the climb techniques described in another video, and then whether that drop is straight, like it was there, get a nice pop, or whether it's got a slope to it. So the rope's, rock's sloping, or there's another rock neighbouring it, something that means that drop is less than an equivalent of about eight feet, your man's not going to jump, he's just going to drop down. Um, you still open your chute, but you don't get the pop, so you don't get the distance and you don't go up. Um, mastering it on the rocks isn't too difficult, it's harder to get the climb onto the rocks right, and then you'll start to know by looking at the rock whether it's capable of giving you the jump, and whether it's got the slope on it, and which side to jump off of. Um, you know, and there's, there's a number of rocks where, depending on which side you jump off of, will dictate whether you get that jump or whether you just drop off the side. Now for my playstyle, the way I tend to use the parachute is getting around the map quickly. I don't tend to use it as a means of scaling buildings, as you'll see some doing. Uh, it's got its advantages. You can get around quickly, you can scale through things, and you can tend to move fast with the parachute. Um, you can cover a lot of ground with it. Uh, it does leave you quite exposed, so players that like to use the chute and bounce around a lot they tend to do better when they're attacking people that are in rooms or in closed environments. If you're in an open environment, you can see that parachute coming um, come from quite a distance. And it's relatively easy to shoot them out of the sky. So depending on who you're playing against, you need to adapt your play style. Now the next thing to be aware of is how you can actually get around the map. So in this clip you can see there I've been a passenger on a quad, he's got some air, I've walked off the side of the quad, and I'm now going to get across the map to get some height. So, to get the distance, it's getting your arms, once you've whipped your, your chute cords open, get your arms down by your side. Stand nice and straight and tall, arms down as low as you can alongside you, and that gets you the, f the smallest drop for the distance travelled. Um, longer arms are better for that one. I think there seems to be some sort of relationship between the controller distance to the headset. The further down it is, the less you tend to drop. Um, I think that makes it more challenging probably for people who play it seated in the seated position. Um, with Vibe, as you can see with me, I just get my arms down and get quite a good bit of distance with the parachute. Um, navigating with it, it's going to go wherever you look. So if you're looking to the left, you're going to go left and then the position of your arms dictates whether it's going to sort of slide shimmy sideways or not. So lifting one arm will tend to make the chute move sideways um, versus going straight. So once you're, uh, once you're airborne, um, get your arms down by your side, pick your spot, start aiming towards it. And Depending on what you see below you, you can then reach for a weapon. So releasing one trigger, make sure you keep one held or keep the shoot out. So for example I'm right handed, I'll release the right trigger, I'll reach for my gun, grab the gun and then I can shoot um, people below me. And um, things to be aware of, the only sort of class that really can leverage that is the engineer where they have time based reload weapons rather than um, manual reload. So what you'll tend to find, people that like to use the shoot to the extreme will tend to be playing the engineer class so they can fly over people shoot it will reload after 20 seconds or so and they can shoot again and they just spend their time flying around the map but as mentioned early earlier if you're coming up with players or coming up against players using that getting into an open area is the best approach so you can see all around you and you can see them coming um, they really can leverage that when you can't see them until they pop in through a window or something like that. So adapt your play style to the people that you're playing against. Um, using the scenery, it's really a case of getting to know the maps where you can navigate around. Once you've got the climb bit sauce, once you understand the mechanics around the pop and where to position your arms to get the distance of travel, you can pretty much cover all of the map um, relatively quickly. to use things like vehicles, in this case with the quads. If you're the driver of the quad, once the thing's up in the air, 
hit the button to exit the vehicle, so the side grips on your Vive, and then walk off of it. Um, some protect, forget to do the walk, expect to be able to open the chute. You can't, it just makes you stand up on the quad, but then if you walk off the side, you can open your chute when you're at altitude, and you can just use that as a, a system of flying around the maps. Um, it's worth looking at the climb video as well to understand how you can climb on things like the window frames. I tend to find anything that's sort of made of wood you can generally grab hold of. So this particular capture point D on this map, you're able to climb up the side of the buildings by using the window frames to, to grab on, which you can see an example of here, grabbing on the window frames. And as you get to the top, the overhang, it's kind of just a, a manic swim for grabbing things. Doesn't always work, but gives you enough height quickly to get around the map without needing a vehicle to get around. So here you can see me reach for the gun, get some shots into him. It takes a bit of practice, but it's not as hard as it looks to actually shoot people from the shoot. Just uh, keep trying it. But one thing never to forget when you're on your shoot is how much ammo you've got. So if you're the engineer class and you've got a device that's auto reloading, that's fine. Um, it will reload, you don't need to land. But if you're running something like assault class scout, something with a machine gun, you've got to remember that when you land is when you're most vulnerable, because you're likely going to land where there's enemy. And if you've just wasted all of your magazine whilst you fly over, um, it can leave you vulnerable. If you've not got somewhere to land and get cover and reload before uh, before you're into the next the next enemy. So hopefully you find it useful. Um, I've not gone deep dive into the specifics of showing you how people jump around and scale buildings by bouncing off doubling back and going up the side of buildings but um, yeah we'll let it run out and you can uh, just enjoy the rest of the video if there's any specific you need to know just ask a question in the comments i'm more than happy to try and help um this is probably one of the best vr games i'm playing this thing all the time and um, so the more people that are able to play this and make the most of it the better and i'm more than happy to try and help people get better at the game it makes it more challenging for me more challenging for my squad um, and more challenging for those of us that love playing it enjoy any time i go on the mountain and shoot there <laughs> but i have no time for that it's been on the weekend <laughs> make it i will the world record from thousand four meters from the from the one side it's, it's they're sniping on the and the and the dupe. Yeah, what's on this power striker?
<laughs> it's so easy to find a sniper or an address sniper man uh, here and so that when he's shooting you, boom, he not uh, shot you, boom, he not shot you, and then you wait a bit, see from who from the shot, see the enemy, look the scope, he's dead. <laughs> Team. They're killed. Mm. Yeah, they're running now. Over Charlie or the rocks. The enemy is by the tower, they're running to Charlie, by Bravo's tower to the enemies. Yeah, I don't know, the sensation is sniping. Finish. 